and welcome to my channel and if you're returning thank you and welcome back so today I am going to be doing a really fun mani for Nightmare Before Christmas it's a collab mani and I'll be using some decals Skellington from Once Upon a Manicure Hide and Seek from Triple D and I'll be using as a light color for the base of my nails um, seashell from eye gel beauty right now all my nails I have tips and builder gel and a base coat of gel a top coat of gel and two coats of peel base um, so I'm going to be using my triple D liquids and I'm putting down the base and I'll be using my pipette to pipette this light color on um, decals look better when you put white underneath of them um, white for me is extremely hard to work with so I decided to use like an off-white color seashell and it it worked out perfectly it was light enough that the decals show up really nicely so um, just putting that foundation of seashell on my thumb my index my ring and my pinky finger and on the middle finger I'm going to be putting that really pretty chunky glitter skeleton um, I'm doing this collab with Amber from About That Mama Life and Kayla from Totally Kayla. Last month we did a Fall Into Friends collab, so if you missed that, I will link that in the cards. Um, it was a really fun Manny. We just did kind of like a fall theme. Each of us interpreted what that meant to us, and we collabed on that. And then this month we're doing a nightmare before christmas theme um, we planned this in advance and gave enough time um, to send some decals around i had some extra water slide decals and so did kayla so i'll be using some of the ones that i purchased and then also some of the ones that kayla sent me i sent decals over to kayla and to amber as well i think amber used some of the ones that i sent her she had her mani done a little bit more in advance so um, in her collab mani, she didn't get to use Kayla's decals, but we'll see what the future holds. So I'm using this new tool that I got from AliExpress. It's actually like a diamond placing tool. It's um, double sided. One side is like a wax crayon and the other side is that pointy side that I'm using to clean up around my cuticles. I'll link it below. It's really fun. It's really just kind of like a fancy version of the one I was using. Um, anyway, so I kind of just speed through uh, the second round of application of seashell. I really like how the pipette is making this a really nice even application. And then I'll go into the chunky glitter. Um, with the chunky glitter, I end up just doing one coat of the glitter because it is really um, thick and it's perfect. So you just need the one for full coverage and it's really pretty. I will say this is definitely one of my most favorite manis I've ever done. Um, I probably say that about several of the manis that you hear me uh, voice over for, but this one's definitely awesome. Um, if you want to see my tip application, I'll be putting that out next week. Uh, so tune back next Monday for that. And I will let you hang out and watch some nail magic for a little bit. And when I'm ready for decals, I'll be back.
Okay, so I'm back. I left in filing of my thumb. I used a new cuticle bit. Um, it's in the same set of the cuticle bits that I've been linking. It's just a pointier, um, rounder one. Um, so I use that around my cuticle to really kind of like dig out the cuticle area and then buffed. Um, I left my thumb in so you could see. And then here are my nails all cleaned up and ready for decals. Um, so the first decal that I'm using is a really cute little um, lock, shock, and barrel uh, decals. They're little and they're fun, so I was able to put three on one now. So here I am trying to figure out how to get this into the camera because I've taken the decal out and I'm going to be using my jelly stamper to pick it up. Uh, I also am using a really cute water dish. It is from... Uh, the nail prop shop and they just started making resin um, items like uh, props and the dish and then there's also some palettes that I've used so um, I got this tip to use the sticky base coat from Amber and I'm just putting it in the area that I want the decal because I need the sticky base coat to not be fully dry in order for it to work. So once I realize that it is dry enough, I'm just going to take my stamper and stamp on the first decal and it works perfectly. It looks really good. And now I'm just gonna repeat that step with the rest of the lock, shock, and barrel decals. So I did cut out all of the waiting time in between. So like waiting for the decal to be soft enough to remove from the paper and waiting for the sticky base coat to dry to my liking is all cut out. Um, so I'm just leaving in the application because I didn't want this video to be too long. So uh, here is the third one and the, the stamper really works because you can see exactly where you're placing the decal. So once I get done placing the decals, um, then I'm going to do the no uh, smudge top coat. Um, Amber gave me this tip on the sticky base coat. So thank you, Amber, it worked out beautifully. Then once I'm able to do this, the uh, no wipe top, when that dries, I'm able to go over that nail with dip powder. So on the nails that have the little decals, um, which are my thumb and my pinky, which are lock, shock, and barrel on my thumb, and then um, the Oogie Boogie Man on my pinky. I'm gonna I'm gonna put hide and seek over those, and hide and seek is a dip powder from Triple D that is black when it is cold, and then it turns clear when it's warm. So it's really cool. Um, and then you'll see here I'm just putting on the sticky base coat so I can place Oogie Boogie Man on my pinky. Then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna move on to my pointer finger and my ring finger. And for those fingers, I'm doing full decals I'm using two different companies' decals. On my pointer finger, I'm using Poshi. And then on my ring finger, I'm using Snowfy. Uh, really, the big difference between the two that I found was that the Poshi one, when I put it into the water, it didn't take as long to get soft, but it was also a lot thinner and it wasn't uh, shiny. The Snowfy one took a little bit longer to come off the paper and it was shiny and it was a little bit um, different. Like it, it wasn't as delicate as the Poshi one, but I do think the Poshi one, um, the coverage was a little bit better, I would say, um, than the Snowfy one. The Snowfy one is more it's like a little bit thicker so I accidentally ripped the one part of it and it didn't fully cover my entire nail but um, it covered it enough that you know you can really see the details of it that is the one good thing about them being a little bit shinier they're a little bit more detailed so here I have the pot this is the poshy one and it's a bunch of jack heads and um I'm going to be using the sticky base coat to get this on my nail and then I will clear encapsulate it and then it'll it'll look perfect. Same with the one on my ring finger. So I will let you watch this and then I'll let you watch my clear encapsulation and my hide and seek um, application and then I will be back when I'm ready for cuticle oil.
Okay, so I'm back. I cut out um, doing the rest of my nails um, and like I just did a second coat of the hide and seek on my thumb and my pinky and then I activated, filed and buffed again and then I put some top coat on and now I'm taking my really cute Jack Skellington cuticle oil from Once Upon a Manicure and I'm putting that around all of my nails. Uh, it smells like gingerbread and it's amazing. I will link her shop below. So then once this is rubbed in, I have my final mani. I want to thank you for watching and I'm going to include some pictures of what the hide and seek looks like when it's cold and then also when it's warm. I hope that you had fun with this mani just as much as I did and don't forget to check out my collab friends. Have a great day.